Hey guys, it is uh, oh God, it's like 7 a.m. now uh, in Easter Sunday 2021. I was here literally a year ago and I was here with Kyle, who is right there. Hello. <laughs> um, and we were shooting basically the same thing as we are today. We're doing sunrise uh, landscapes. Today it's beautifully, beautifully misty outside, which is very nice. Uh, I've still got the X-T3 Fujifilm. Kyle's upgraded to the X-T4 uh, and today we're just gonna have a just a chat we're not gonna go too technical we're just gonna you know get out we're allowed to shoot outside nowadays uh, you know socialize with other people it's been a long long year uh, a lot of things have gone on I'm not even gonna touch on what's happened but basically for the past year I haven't been able to go out and do anything so this is a nice opportunity even if I was getting up at 5 a.m. Uh, but let's get to it <laughs> Like for the 5am start I don't mind like it's fine but it just yeah it's it's hard when you have a baby yes oh it's god difficult. yeah yeah let me do drag zoom in say that again it's hard when you have a baby yes <laughs> <laughs> my boy Carl has had a beautiful baby uh two weeks ago two weeks ago two, yeah, weeks, two ago. weeks and one day baby Oscar very nice happy for him very nice you, very nice <laughs> and uh we are yeah I mean we're, we're from that same place that we were last year but this time because it's Easter Sunday we got I'm assuming Christians. <laughs> I think so. We have, we have some kind of Christian or people. I mean, they brought guitars and tambourines, and they as soon as the sun started to come up, they started singing. Yeah. They haven't stopped, and it's one degree. So I mean, their conviction is good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. We have uh, going right now a GoPro which is capturing the sunrise. It's been doing it for probably half an hour. It has done. Oh my God! It's done 379 photos. I sent it to shoot in raw. <laughs> What? <laughs> so yeah, you should probably stop that soon. <laughs> um, I will stop that. Oh god, yeah, 381, it's it's still going. That's going to be a beautiful um, time lapse though, so that's cool. I've got the three-legged thing, the Viv aluminium tripod. This thing has never failed me in six, seven, eight years now. Apart from the head, had to have that replaced, but three-legged thing. Currently sent me a replacement, which was sick. We have down here, Pro Tactic. 450AD or whatever it's called by Low Pro. This has got the tactical webbing on it. It's got a thing from that drink, and you know it looks like a very hefty camera bag. Got Kyle's. Let's have a snoop. What's in Kyle's bag? Not a lot. Nothing. <laughs> what has changed? What has changed? So you picked up the XT4, right? I did. You picked up the XT4. I did. And uh, you got rid of the XT3, which is what we were here with last year. Yes, correct. Give me a one minute synopsis of why. One minute synopsis. Um, camera was too small. Camera didn't work for me for what I wanted to do with it. Yep. I didn't give it enough time to learn it properly. Um, I just, I didn't spend enough time actually shooting it out with it. Mm. I think the only time I shot with it was maybe one or two videos and the one time I shot out with you. And I just, yeah. from, from, from that, I kind of got to the point where I was like, hey, this camera really isn't for me. Um, so I jumped to a Panasonic S1, which was wasn't a, wasn't a mistake. Bad. It wasn't a bad camera. It just that that didn't work for me either. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was. Um, it's it's a niche camera. It is. It's yeah, niche really niche with camera. a small camera lens line. Yeah, very very good very good stuff inside. Yeah, yeah, like, awesome. it's actually a very good camera. But you know, it's it's as much as getting on with the camera kind of uh, liking a camera that's got dials or liking yeah. a camera which yeah. is good at specific things i like fuji because they're very like old film cameras yeah which i'm used to so i like the fuji film cameras mm -hmm. and then once i was with it i really like the ecosystem the company all this business which is why i've stuck with them yeah exactly right so there are some massive advantages to your xt4 which my xt3 does not have some right? yeah yeah some definitely i think it's not um I, I don't think it's a make or break that's just my opinion um for a lot of people like say for instance for you like you wouldn't look at my X-T4 and go I'm not having my X-T3 anymore I need to go and get an X-T4 yeah. necessarily mm. but I think for someone like me that does what I do with my camera and the physical size of it and stuff yeah it's probably it's a make or break handy, yeah, yeah yeah it makes sense yeah it's uh, it's good let me uh, one second can, can you hear that listen the singers have gone they've just left <laughs> <laughs> oh peace they've actually left the little castle on the hill they've gone home or, or you know I don't know where they've gone but uh, it's nice and quiet we have peace so we can do what we want now which is very nice <laughs> it's only small <laughs> a tiny little castle oh one your feet there's craters everywhere in this place no idea why 
But yeah, look at the size of it. Everybody in England lives in a uh, building like this. How big's your castle, Kyle? <laughs> About this size. Yeah, so it's, mine's in uh, kind of like a cream colour. Yeah, yeah, I, I went, I opted for the uh, classic stone. Nice, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's quite popular nowadays, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, this is where you park your uh, chariot. And uh, yeah, this is, normally most people have a moat around here, but I think this person has decided not to go for one. Uh, conservative choice, yeah, yeah. Let's have a little look upstairs. I'm joking, by the way. If you don't get uh, English sarcasm, please get it. Here we go. Edward George Jr. and Henry Cadbury, Mr. Cadbury himself, gave Beacon Hill, the city of Birmingham, to protect the countryside and for people's enjoyment. It's to protect the countryside, this castle. <laughs> so it literally is. It's, uh, yeah, it's... Lookout, right? It's a lookout. Let's go up, let's go up. Oh, yes. And as we can see, we have the traditional sours for the morning uh, libations, you know. <laughs> this is, uh, what you want to do is you want to greet the sunrise with uh, some some strong alcohol. Strong start <laughs> to the morning. Strong start to the day. Okay, here we go. So, how's that? I must say that is a nice cinematic shot. If I can even get you in the shot, I can't tell. What does it have? Primary things, what does it have which the X-T3 doesn't? So the primary things that the X-T4 has that the 3 doesn't um is really um a few things so it's got a slightly larger grip uh which for those of you with meaty hands will be able to appreciate it's got a much 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 bigger grip and it feels far more comfortable in the hand um than the xt3 does obviously you can extend the grip with a um, with a grip add-on that will bolt onto the bottom but um i like the camera to be stock on on its own without having to bolt anything onto it just to be able to hold it comfortably so uh, that was a big reason why i didn't like the xt3 the other big thing with this camera a flip out screen which people love to hate for some reason yeah um <laughs> the fuji community is a very it's not an odd place but um it, they think it's in an odd place um because the, obviously the the xt line of cameras is it's one thing but then to have a flip out screen kind of points towards it being a video camera and kind of it, it's kind of built for hybrid shooters and as much as I hate that term it really is built for hybrid shooters you can do pretty much whatever you want to do with it and get a good result um, you know you've still got all the film simulations that the X-T3 does you've still got all of the same sort of stuff but that flip out screen gives you some more versatility especially when you're filming video and when you're filming um, sort of talking head stuff which is what I do quite a lot of I can attest to that. I am just guessing that I'm in shot at the moment. I don't have any monitor on my camera. Uh, so I'm just holding it by the barrel of the lens and uh, looking into the black abyss that is the ND filter and hoping, I hope it's in, I hope, I hope it's focusing and I hope it's looking at my face. I can't really tell. This is the thing. Right. But how are you going to tell? <laughs> but you don't know. Yeah. Well, this is why this is so handy because you, you don't know. And because I don't use a ultra wide lens like John does, I don't have the, um, the privilege of knowing that I'm always in shot. So if I was using an X-T3 with John's lens, the, the super wide, what is it, a 10 to? 10 to 24. 10 to 24, so it's really, really wide, right? Um, whereas mine, mine's a, uh, what is it, 16 to 55. So it's basically the equivalent of like a 24 to 70. Uh, it's actually 24 to 85.7, but nice. we'll we'll forget about that. Um, the, the kind of, obviously it's a it's a much shorter focal length than the ultra wide so you can't always know that you're always in frame so it's really important for me with this to make sure that i'm always center frame or at least very close to um and it just it helps it helps oh i didn't see you there hello kyle please hello <laughs> <laughs> hi kyle um, so we just wrapped up shooting your xt4 video yeah how'd it go awesome yeah really good um i'm much more happy with this camera than i was with the xt3 or my sony camera when i had that nice much much happier yeah much yeah. happier it's pretty sweet and um yeah i mean i'm on my second battery yes of this this morning yes. admittedly i was doing some panoramics and i was doing uh -huh. some uh burst mode you know bracketing that kind of stuff but yeah. it's burnt through my first battery and on my second battery yours we've just shot 400 megabyte 4k 24 frames a second yeah f-log yeah 
about 10 different videos yeah and it's about halfway through the first battery yeah <laughs> so the battery I, it's good that they've sorted the battery life out because one yeah I'm, I'm gonna just overlay just here uh me talking last year this mm. time last year about the battery issues on the xc3 the one thing i noticed and it will still never go away is the battery life so that basically uh, has been resolved with the xt4 which is it pretty seems nice. like that yeah it seems that way and the the other reasons why i kind of uh, i sometimes use a gopro mm -hmm. to vlog with is because that's got the in-body stabilization the electronic image stabilization yep. that's got now a sensor shifting kind it does. of uh, yeah ibis hasn't it? yeah it does which is something that does not have which is it's pretty good i mean i'm hyping up your camera here i, I love the xt3 yeah but i'm hyping that one up yeah I think for the money that you pay for an XT3 now, yeah. I think when you look at the, the market and when you the, put the two cameras side by side, I think from from a XT4 owner's perspective and someone that used to own an XT3, I think when you put the two cameras together, I think actually you get a very good package with the XT3 still. It's not a bad camera by any shell. I do. But I think you do get that extra sort of cream on top of your coffee, if you like, yes. with the XT4 and you get those few extra little bits, which just make it a little bit better. Well, we just missed. We just missed another vlogger. <laughs> God, what do we do? Oh, no. <laughs> Is it like, do you look at them? Do you say hello? Or I don't know. do you just pretend do you run away? that we're not doing the exact same thing yeah. in the exact same place? Awkward, right? That was a problem. My uh, my camera just gave up on me, so we now have the poor graveyard. <laughs> so you had to go home. You can't handle it today. I went through two camera batteries. Uh, I didn't bring any more because I've been renting the camera out to Kyle over there. Hello. However, I do have a lot of GoPro batteries, so that is fine. Uh, as I was saying, the XT3 versus XT4 is uh, yeah. If you have an XT3, you probably don't need an XT4. Probably right? not. Probably not. No. Probably not. Uh, the incremental kind of things that you get things like the ibis and the flippy screen are great and those are what i would consider like major upgrades but the other things that the xt4 has maybe not uh as as incremental the minor upgrades uh things like potentially slightly better iso in kind of dark ranges uh the the autofocus is the same i believe the water resistance is pretty much the same yes you get a bigger battery which in this instance is perfect <laughs> <laughs> it's what happens what happens um so it is perfect but uh you know if i was taking photos side by side xt4 versus xt3 and it wasn't an extreme low light and to be fair i don't really shoot extreme low light i use flash when i can for me i wouldn't tell the difference but this is the same reason why i have an xt20 as my backup camera uh, because when I'm shooting photos, I use flash. You can't really tell the difference side by side. You can't tell which camera's which. But when I'm out filming, XT3 is the only one I bring with me, or a backup a <laughs> backup GoPro at this point. I mean, it does the job, right? Oh yeah, yeah. it does the job. That's the job. I mean, yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's filming. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Uh, so uh, yeah, aside from my uh, tripod plate coming off on my uh, my my tripod and my XT3 battery dying, I was going to take some lovely um, landscape shots. Can you surmise for us um, what you would say to someone if they were considering an XT4? Um, if you're considering an XT4, I think the first thing I would do is have a look at the used market because as good as they are new. Um, if you can find one that's let's say open box or in like if you were rating it out of like 1 to 10 if you can find one in like a 9 or an 8 condition uh, where there's no dust on the sensor or anything like that you're getting a bargain no. you are getting a bargain um, my, the XT4 I got I got for £1,470 which is a lot cheaper than retail yeah I, I paid I paid £1,500 for my XT3 with a grip and a kit lens two years ago two years ago yeah. this month actually yeah yeah uh so yeah it's good that you're paying about the same two years on for mm. a, for an upgrade so that's that's pretty decent guys if you've enjoyed it stick around next time i'll bring more batteries subscribe cheers <laughs> do you remember that time i dropped my camera lens oh down my a hill God. yes i do uh, that down. was your um that was an 18 to that was my kit lens yeah yeah that was an 18 to 55 right yeah yeah, yeah. it's a good thing it wasn't expensive right <laughs>
Uh, never again.